guys, welcome to Peach Casita, this 560 square foot smaller home by the award-winning designer Kim Lewis, who's been featured on publications such as HCTV, Dwell, Apartment Therapy, and alongside her husband Joey, this is their latest creation, this beautiful Airbnb property just outside of Austin, Texas, and I cannot wait to show you around. So, let's go check it out. Welcome to the Peach Casita. I am super, super excited to be out here filming this beautiful house. It's really interesting. So Joey and Kim, the owners of this property, so they actually considered selling this house a couple of years ago, and that was right around the time that I was thinking of buying my tiny house. I actually reached out to Joey when they put the listing up for sale a couple of years ago. Was super interested in buying this house. I just didn't have anywhere to place it. Long story short, I didn't end up buying the house, obviously and Joey and Kim decided to keep the house and purchase this property where they ended up basically remodeling this entire area that you see right here. They had to put in tons of work to really level this out and build out the infrastructure to be able to place these homes here. They had to tie into septic. They had to do all of this landscaping work. Moving it was quite a nightmare for them. So they went through so much to get this little property just from Dripping Springs out to this beautiful property in Fitzhugh, which is just 20, 25 minutes away from downtown Austin. It's a great location. It's on this little hill, so you have sweeping views of the beautiful Texas Hill Country. I'm just super excited to be out here, to have the chance to stay here, to film this place, and most importantly, to show you guys, because I know you guys are going to absolutely love this place almost as much as I do. So before we get started, I want to highlight how unique this place is, and I'm sure you guys have already noticed, but this is built out in an L shape. And so we have about 560 square feet of livable space inside. This house is actually broken up into two separate units, which is super unique. Both of them are on trailers, so they're both on wheels, completely movable. On this left-hand side, we have the living and kitchen unit. And this unit is just over 24, 25 feet long and 10 feet in width. And then we have a bit of a breezeway, a covered cabana that basically joins the two units. And then on the right hand side, that unit over there is the bedroom and bathroom. I think you guys are gonna love it inside. So let's go check it out. So welcome to the inside of the living and dining unit. So the very first thing that you'll notice when you walk up to the Beach Casita is that both units actually have these beautiful, nice nine foot wide La Cantina bifolding doors. So you can open these all the way up and they slide on these hinges. It really opens up the interior space to the outside, provides that wonderful indoor outdoor flow that we all love to see. And it really makes the two units flow a whole lot better. And it just provides for a more cohesive and thoughtful floor plan. Though it still provides a way to close everything up. If you want to have a little bit of privacy between the two units, then you still have the option to do that. So this living unit is definitely the spot to hang out and you'll probably be spending most of your time in this unit. But when you first walk in on the right hand side, we have this little table, this beautiful cozy little corner, which you could use as a workspace, or more importantly, they even have a record player there with a handful of records that you guys can play and enjoy listening to. And we even have a guitar, so if you're musically inclined, then you're probably gonna enjoy that a whole lot more than the rest of us. Moving on to the living area, we have this beautiful leather couch in the center of this unit with this really, really wonderful coffee table. And we have this beautiful rug underneath. And then one of my favorite pieces in this house is actually this pendant light from Bali that Kim actually sourced on one of her trips to Southeast Asia. So that's one thing I really, really love about the Peach Casita is that Kim incorporated a lot of her thoughtful pieces, things that she sourced around the world from her trips. So when you come, just definitely like be thoughtful and look around and take everything in. So this is definitely one of my favorite pieces from Bali. I actually spent some time 
time there not too long ago, a couple of years ago. So it's really nice to see something and be brought back to some of those moments. And then moving on to the kitchen, we have probably my favorite spot in all of the Peach Casita is this beautiful retro meets modern farmhouse kitchen. On the right hand side, we have that green Big Chill retro fridge that you guys know I love with the matching microwave on top. We have a farmhouse sink in the center of the kitchen with this beautiful picture window, giving you views of that side of the property. And on both sides of it, we have plenty of countertop space to prepare some meals. This morning I made some pancakes and oh my gosh, I burnt so many of them. So that was definitely an L on my part. But the biggest statement piece in the kitchen, in my opinion, is that purple Blue Star cooking range on the left side of the kitchen. It's a beautiful four burner gas range with a small oven. On the top we have tons of open shelving housing all of the plates, bowls, mugs glassware, wine glasses, anything that you guys will need during your stay here, they have this thing fully stocked. And on the left-hand side of the kitchen, we have this movable cabinet or kitchen island that you can actually swivel to the center and you can lift up part of the countertop and that provides a dining space for two people with the two stools provided. And it also houses tons of cabinet space underneath. So that has all of your pots, pans, silverware, cooking utensils, so this place is very, very well equipped to pre basically prepare all your meals here. Though I will say that this area fits huge. Dripping Springs has tons of really good restaurants, lots of good wineries and breweries to enjoy. So if you're out here and you want to try a little bit of that, I would definitely recommend taking advantage of being so close to Austin. We're only 25 minutes away from downtown, but also to these amazing eateries and wineries, breweries out here. So you're really in a great spot to enjoy the best of both worlds. And last but not least, and you guys know I will never stop mentioning this, but they do have a French press and some locally roasted coffee beans, which is such, such a great thing to have in a short-term rental. I'm super appreciative that they are <laughs> supplying some freshly roasted beans. And the coolest part of it all is in the house manual for this Airbnb, they actually provide a little QR code that you can scan with your phone. And they will actually tell you not only the roaster where they source the beans, but the roast date and the kind of coffee that they have here for you to enjoy, which I think is just such an excellent touch. It's really helpful for someone like me when you come across a coffee bean that you absolutely love you can just get that information you can even go home and purchase some for yourself so that was a really nice touch but that is pretty much it here in the living and dining unit so let's take you over to the bedroom and bathroom unit and show you around so last but not least, on the right-hand side of the property, we have the bedroom and the bathroom unit. So when you first walk in, we have that same La Cantina bifolding door that opens up the space and brings you into this pretty spacious bedroom. We have a very nice comfy bed in the center. We have this really beautiful bed frame built onto the wall with some picture frames hung on it. We have these nice accents on the sides of the bed. On this side of the unit, we have a little bit of storage space and just some open space to kind of spread out, store your bags. We even have these two yoga mats where I guess theoretically you could do some yoga inside if you want a little bit of privacy or my preference would be to take them outside and do some yoga outside on the deck. We have a full length mirror here so that you can get dressed. This area is really just functional for whatever you want to do with it. It's a little bit of extra space. In between the bedroom and the bathroom, we have a cozy corner with this really unique woven chair. It's another nice place to hang out, similar to the workspace or office space in the other unit. This is a nice cozy corner to read a book or have a cup of coffee. And lastly, on that side of the unit, we have the bathroom. We have these two beautiful barn doors that slide open on both sides, giving you access into this corner bathroom. The first thing you'll probably notice when you walk in is that beautiful clawfoot tub in the corner. Not only can you take a nice warm bath, but you can also take a shower using either the wall shower, a more traditional shower experience, or you can even use the rain shower head up above to take more of a hotel style like shower. We also have a regular flushing toilet and we have a nice vanity on the right hand side with some lighting built into the mirror and that is pretty much it here at the bedroom and bathroom unit at Peach Casita. 
All right, guys, so that is it. That is the tour of the Peach Casita out here in the Texas Hill Country, just 25 minutes away from Austin, Texas. This is hands down one of the coolest small spaces. I'm not gonna call it a tiny house because you guys are gonna roast me in the comments, but definitely one of the coolest, most incredible small spaces that I've ever had the chance to stay at and film a tour for you guys. I don't have a lot of regrets in life, but I will say one thing that stands out is not having bought this house when I had the chance to do so. But nonetheless, I am so happy for Kim and Joey to finally have gotten this place off the ground to be able to share this incredible place with us. I know how much time and energy they put into just transporting this house here. The immense amount of work that it took to landscape this property, to tie it up to utilities, to literally just get it ready to share it with us. So much time went into it, so I hope you guys enjoyed that tour. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you left this video a thumbs up down below and considered subscribing to the channel so that we can continue connecting with you guys that would be interested in these small house tours, tiny house tours, cabin, tree house tours, whatever you guys are wanting to see. I just hope that these videos inspire you to at least try these spaces out. Come check them out for yourselves on Airbnb. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weeks and I will see you in the next one.